Hey guys, I'm Phil the Blanks. Welcome back to Let's Play the Subspace Emissary. We are Beach! Um, I switched over my controls. Uh, I'm now playing with the Wii Remote on its side, um, which I hope feels a little bit better, because that, that nunchuck Wii combo is not working for me, so let's try this out. I'm doing so good, you know, getting smacked around by these friggin' cloud guys. Holy crap. Ah, haha, avoided that. Hello, Kira. Kira is with me. Oh, these guys! Destroy the generators, they will generate enemies. Thus, the name Generator. So yeah, take out these guys. They're really cute, I like these guys a lot. They're one of my favorite enemies in the game. I don't even know what they're called, like mites or something stupid like that. But um, they pack a lot bigger punch than you think they would. You want to take out the generators that make them. Generators can make other enemies too, but you just want to make sure that, you know, you don't let them be because, you know, more enemies. More enemies, more problems. Ow. <laughs> Ooh, spicy curry! Eh. Yum. <laughs> I love spicy curry. I love how they have to animate every character, like, when you stand still, it does like, like oh, it's so hot! And they have to animate one for every enemy. Ooh, what's up there? Ah, crap. Well, I'll destroy the generator first. There we go. Oh, and more things. You really, I like how they, they make it very clear that you must kill things before you can move on. Like, the screen does the flash thing, and there's even a sound effect for it. So, you're, it's very clear you need to do that. So, you're not, like, accidentally wandering off. There we go, now I can go as I want, but I want to go back up. I want to see what's up there. Peach is really good, um, vertical, uh, recovery. She has an incredible horizontal recovery. Oh, speaking of which, <coughs> excuse me, this is something I actually did not mention. Uh, ooh, a superstar. What a useless place for a superstar, because now I'm not gonna be able to get to enemies. Why? Because what I was about to say is, all enemies, or sorry, all, um, all of the characters, uh, run and walk speeds have been kind of, like, normalized, so super fast characters like Fox and Captain Falcon and Sonic the Hedgehog are actually weirdly slow in this game, while slow characters like Bowser and Ganondorf or whatever um, actually move a lot faster. Ooh, a trophy stand. Eh, careful, Boulder. Um, and that's just to make all the characters kind of, I wouldn't say feel the same, but so that they they can absolutely, ah, oh, threw right over the stupid guy. Whatever, I'm playing on a completed file where I have all the trophies, except for, like, one anyway, so I don't know why I'm trying to do that. Hello, Greep. Haha. -ha. Um, jeez, like, why is so much life compared to... Ah, shit. Compared to, um, the last time I fought him in with Mario and Pip. It's so weird. HP's really weird in this game. Like, it really feels like... I don't know, it, it's... You'd think it's, it's each one of your moves that does a certain amount of percentage is gonna do that much against these guys, but I feel like... The knockback rate for those moves actually, like, factors in too. I don't know if that's true or not. I just feel there's times when I'm like, why am I suddenly so weak? And then you use, a, uh, like, a move or two. You're like, why did I do a bajillion damage there? Whatever. Um, but yeah, what I was saying is, is I think they, they changed... Like, how did that do, like, zero damage, basically? Ah, whatever. I'm complaining about nothing now. Um, they make all the characters kind of run somewhat same speed so that they can... They can make sure that every character can get through all the areas, and uh, every character's um, nothing around here. Every character's uh, vertical speed has been changed and normalized as well. Uh, everyone's jump has been kind of tinkered with a little bit. I, those are actual percentages. I looked this up before I started playing the game. It's like seventeen percent higher or something like that. It's just to make sure that every character can get through every like thing. And I, I get it. I get the reason for it. All right. So enough with those stories. Here's some new characters with another story. Get used to that. That is that is emissary in a nutshell. Is we're gonna do a chapter with these guys, and then we're gonna completely move on to uh, two other characters on a completely different story. So here's DK, good old Donkey Kong. I just uh, I just finished a, a let's play with Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong '94. What a fun game that was. This is not Donkey Kong '94. This is Donkey Kong 2008. Because I think that's when Subspace Emissary or Smash Bros. Brawl came out. I think. God, has it really been ten years? Holy nuts. That is, that is a long time. Hello, Diddy. I always found it funny that Diddy wears the, um, the Nintendo hat. Because it breaks the fourth wall, like, the fact that he wears a Nintendo hat. Oh, here's the badass, whoa, explosions! I'm sorry, that explosion was close enough to them that that should have hurt them. Um, but yeah, he wears the, the Nintendo hat. Now, that was, I guess, a decision by Rare. Um, I don't mind it. It's a fun decision. It makes him stand out a little bit. But it's like, why... Why Nintendo? It's super weird. At least it didn't, they, never, they didn't say it, like, it didn't say Rare back in the day, back when Rare worked with Nintendo. So they, I guess they'd have to change that. 
Um, using Diddy here, uh, I know Diddy is considered really, really good. I cannot use him effectively. I don't know what it is. Uh, I'm really not good with him. I hate his his up his up special, which is like this jetpack barrel, and uh, I, I can't use it with crap. I'm so bad at it. So I'm gonna use him now. <laughs> that way, if I die, he's become Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong is super slow. He's a slow character, but because it's Subspace Emissary, they made him a little faster. Yay, a heart, even though I did no damage. Also, you'll notice I can... Ah, damn it. Goomba, come on, man. Um, you can just jump on the Koopa Troopas and uh, Goombas, and I think that's a really cute idea, because like you can totally kill them like that in in the Mario games. So, in uh, Smash Run for uh, for Smash Brothers for 3DS, you can fight like... Um, I don't know what they're called, but they're 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 like bongo birds from from Donkey Kong Returns or Donkey Kong Country Returns, and you can just jump on them too, and that'll kill them. And I like the idea that enemies from like platforming games where you can kill them by just jumping on them, you can kill them by jumping on them. Though I don't think you can kill the Kremlins that way. I'm not 100 percent sure. I should probably try that out. I love the barrels too. So this game, the basic play like flow of this game feels very much like Kirby Superstar to me. Uh, but at the same time, there's a lot of Donkey Kong Country. And because it's because of those barrels. Now, is it a cinematic? Nope, not yet. Weird tr transitions, by the way, in this game. Like, enter a door, and then it's just like, oh, you're in another area. All right. But, like, it, it's kind of weirdly done. Um, ooh, hammer. Take that. Okay, I'll grab you now. Boink. <laughs> oh, I don't think I can grab stickers while I have a hammer, though. Yeah, anyways. So, I like how there's Donkey Kong-style barrels. Um, which are actually very much like a uh, Kirby Superstar style canon, so even that feels somewhat like Kirby. Um, but just a lot of a lot of Kirby style things. If you've played a lot of Kirby games, you'll you'll know what I mean. It's hard to explain, uh, but a lot of this feels very Kirby-ish. The way the doors work, the way um, switches work. I don't know. A lot of this is very, very Kirby. I could see any of these levels just being in a Kirby game. And I, I know that's because Masahiro Sakurai, the, the director of this game, also directed Kirby. So, you can find little doors that just have, like, a little room with a reward in it. It's very Kirby. It's very Mario, I guess, too, though. So, I don't know. I don't know. Take this. Aha! There we go. Got a green Koopa Troopa. Again, I already have all the trophies for all the, the enemies, but that was that was one of my f the favorite parts of this game when this game first came out back in, I guess, 2008. Um, I liked going around and, like, finding these trophy stands. If you play on higher difficulties, you have a, a better chance of trophy stands coming. Um, and you have to get each of these enemies and the bosses, too. You have to get them low enough uh, health and actually uh, throw a trophy stand at them. So a lot of it was, like, getting the, the boss to a, a small amount of health and then, like, surviving long enough for that a trophy stand would appear. And that was just super fun for me. So I did it with like every single character. I think the last boss might be the only character you can't do it with. Um, because there's another way to get his trophy and that is, that is after you beat this this game, Subspace Emissary, you unlock boss mode, uh, which allows you to fight all the bosses in a row with any character you want. And I think the last boss's trophy is beat, I, I think anyways, it's beat um, boss mode with every single character. Or it's like beat boss mode on the hardest difficulty or something like that. But basically, that, that's how you get the last boss of trophy. Boink. It's areas like this that really feel like a... Ah, damn it. Why did I jump into that? Oh, yay! The trophy from um, Twilight Princess. I forget the girl's name, but she's like the abominable snowman lady yeti girl. She's really cute. Um, these areas like this, they really, really reinforce that this is definitely a beat-em-up. Which is weird, because like Nintendo doesn't really do a lot of beat-em-ups. Like... I'm trying to think. I don't think they do like, any beat-em-ups. Well, not, not any beat-em-ups, but, like, I can't think of a lot. Because when I think of Nintendo and beat-em-ups, I think Double Dragon, which is not a Nintendo game. It's not a Nintendo property. Uh, but I guess, yes, yeah, Smash Brothers is, like, when you play the adventure mode stuff, it becomes a beat-em-up with, with weird fighting game mechanics. So it's closer to, like, Mortal Kombat um, Sub-Zero Chronicles or whatever the hell that game, terrible game for the NC4 was. Actually, it's not that bad. It's not, it's not amazing, but I, I, I know I have friends that, that adored that game. Oh, you got these things. They're from Kirby Superstar. There we go. <laughs> there we go. That was, that was the link to Kirby Superstar that I needed. You hit those things, you go into a shield position. Oh, come on. Yeah, good. Uh, you get into a shield position and it kind of, like, throws you around places. I'm surprised it's not, like, Warp Star kind of things. Maybe there is with Kirby levels. I don't know. Drink. Like I said last episode, you need um, to get all the gold. I guess I could just call them treasure chests, even though they're, they're weird. Um, 
like cubes, but like you need the gold treasure chest, you need to open all the golden doors. And just Goomba's here, jeez, this is easy enough. Boink, 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 boink. It's weird how the bounce off the Goomba, it gets less and less bouncy every time you uh you land on one. It's really weird. Yay, Diddy Kong and Donkey Kong, they found their banana horde that for some reason Koopa Troopas and Goombas were uh trying to steal. Oh no, it's Bowser. Bowser wants the bananas. Which is weird, because I can't see Bowser liking bananas. I love Bowser's design of this. He's very, like, aggressive and reptilian. Though I, I like his design for the for Smash for Wii U. He does, like, the... He has the more upright stance and all that. No, Diddy Kong! Yay, Donkey Kong saved him! Oh, this is sad. Oh, poor Donkey Kong. Poor Diddy Kong. You'd think that would actually kill Diddy Kong, too, because, I mean, he, he even had the sparkle, like the way Mario did when he got hit by that, um... The cannon, but... We'll see. I don't know if this will be this episode. We'll see that. But Diddy Kong's perfectly fine. He's not like a trophy that needs to be like helped by anyone. All right, the planes. I think we're back with, yeah, Mario and Pit. I love the planes just because of the background. Uh, some of the first screenshots of Suspicious Emissary on the Smash Brothers Dojo website were of this level. And look at that background. Oh, my God. Like, I know this is the Wii, but that's impressive. Like, this is... Smash Brothers Brawl is a very pretty game for the Wii. Uh, the world looks very cool. It's, it, it is weirdly, like, this is the, strangely enough, the, the most real, ah, shit, god damn it, Pit. Also, Pit's animation for Hammers is hilarious, because it's based off the Kid Icarus game. Um, it's true that this, this is, this Smash Brothers is, oh god, that's a lot of eyes. Um, is strangely enough the most realistic looking Smash Brothers, in terms of, like, they try to do realistic textures and colors and stuff like that. But I think it really helps in, like, outdoor areas like this. Like, I want to, like, like, look around. This reminds me of, like, Breath of the Wild. I want to explore that area. I'd love to see a, Mar a 2D Mario game with those types of backgrounds. Like, not specifically realistic, but I mean, like, just beautiful plains and mountains. Like, like when you play New Super Mario Bros. U and stuff, like, those backgrounds, and I like the first level because you can see um, Princess Toadstool's, or, wow, what am I, like, 1992 here? Uh, oh, God, no! Pit, what is with you in, like, getting stupidly thrown around? Oh, Mario now. <laughs> um, you can see Peach's castle in the background, which is very cool. But in every other level, the backgrounds are just like, here's some trees. Here's some sky. Like, they, who cares? Wow, I've got a lot of hammers this episode. But I find it's really weird how there's not a lot of... Um, there's, there's just not a lot of cool things in the background. Well, this game has a surprisingly like detailed background. I, I, I'd love to see a 2D Mario with... Uh, I don't know how to make that. Frick. Um... With, with those, I would, I would love to see a 2D Mario game with those types of backgrounds, and it'd be just really cool. Um, can Mario make this? Shit, I might not, might have needed Pit, because Pit can fly. Frig, ah, come on. I'll try a couple more times. I can do this. Jump, jump, jump. Don't double jump until I need to. There we go, come on. Yes, that was good. Pretty good with Mario. Yeah, good for me. And just more things. This, this is a very Kirby-esque room, with all the breakable blocks and stuff. Very Kirby-esque. Come on, go down, Mario. Going down is really difficult because it's like you gotta like aim downward attacks, and there's not a lot of those unless you're in the air. Um, this is it's so weird though. If someone was just like walk in and be like, like what's Phil playing? And you just see Mario, and like it's a totally 2D game, and if he's just jumping around, like this just looks like a weirdly realistic Mario game. It's so weird, especially again when you're outside and you can see the planes and stuff like that. It just looks cool though. That was a bad transition. This is what I mean. Like, you go into a door and you're clearly in the ruins, and then it's just like, pop your outside. Like, okay, I guess, but it didn't look like that was part of the... Like, that... You it didn't look like you came out of the ruin, even though like, you were on the other, th other side of, like, a mountainous cliff wall. Whatever. I'm complaining about nothing now. I do like it. You can see, like, a, the, the trail at the bottom there. It's super cool. It's weird, though, because if you fall, it's just... It's... It's just a hole and you're dead. It's like, Mario, hit. Like, there's a path right over there. What are you doing on this weird, rocky, floating platform? You guys are so silly. So silly. Oh, curry. Mmm, spicy. It's not... The thing is, it's like, it's fun, but it also, I don't like it when it, like, takes away what I can do with, with uh, my regular character. So I just like getting it because it's, like, fun. <laughs> Yay. Oh, shit, there's more enemies. <laughs> Oh, well, actually, that works pretty well. A lot of weird items in this game. And I do like how they incorporate them in Suspect Cemetery. Because, I mean, it's kind of weird because it is super random. Shit, I'm getting bad luck with hammers. And just a lot of hammers in general. 
Uh, I find, I find, oh yeah, pick up the hammer of head and just smack him. Uh, I do like how, how there's a bunch of different items in Smash. I like playing with items on, I'm weird that way. It's kind of weird though in Subspace Episode because it's like, a good item can like really change an entire fight. Like if, if a hammer landed now and it was an actual good hammer, then that would just destroy its enemies. There's also a golden hammer, which is from Wrecking Crew, and that's even an even more powerful hammer, even though the, the hammer itself is ridiculously powerful. So it's kind of funny how one item can change everything. And then like these star rods, like, oh, well, I have one now, whoops. Like they're, they're not a big deal. They're from Kirby's Dream Land. Like they're okay projectile weapons, but I'd rather just get up close and personal. Ooh, those uh, hot dogs with ketchup on them. That's just probably like a Japanese food. I know a lot of the food from Smash is like Japanese food. I also like how there's always these like rays of light that indicate like the, f the end of a level or the end of an area at least. There's the ancient minister. I guess we were following him. Come on, Mario. You're a jump man. You can jump higher than that. Ah, oh, Pit. That was mean, dude. You can fly. Well, not completely. He needs the help of Palutena. You can only fly for five minutes at a time according to Kiddick or Surprising. Oh, I got away. Stage clear, even though you got nothing done. And Oh, shit, I didn't complete that level. So I got a flag, which means I did not do everything in the level. Um, crap, I wonder what it is. Uh, what I'll probably end up doing, maybe, maybe. I, won't, I might not do this forever. There's Diddy Kong, he's, by, he's good, by the way. Oh, there's um, the R-Wing, yay. Uh, I might not do this for every episode that I, I miss out on something. But I might go back and actually just grab it and like put it, edit it into the end of the, the episode. And this is, I believe it's pronounced Rayquaza. I actually don't know. Um, I stopped watching the Pokemon anime way before Gen 3. So I just know what they are. I don't know how they're pronounced. I think it's Rayquaza. I guess I've heard some people say Rayquaza. I don't know. I say Rayquaza. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. I mean, I do want to pronounce it properly. Who's that? Oh my god, it's... Oh, it's Fox. Woo! Fox is the best. Now that I have Fox, I can beat the game easily because Fox is so good. No, I'm just joking. Well, he is actually extremely good. Um, I'm going to use Fox, though, because I've already used Diddy. Um, and I just like I like using Fox more. Fox was my main for our, for Smash Brothers um, uh, for, for N64. He's also one of my mains for Melee, but like it's not what you're thinking. It's not like, whoa, Phil uses Fox. He must be... Good at the wave dashing and the shield somethings. I'm like, no, I just do the, I just do the upward aerial because it's powerful. <laughs> uh, I again, I play Smash super casually. So, ooh, bunny ears! Now Fox is gonna be stupid fast and jump stupid high. And plus lasers, lasers are fun too. Wee! Oh, wrong way. Whoa! Shit! I'm jumping too high. I'm jumping too high. <laughs> I don't think I can hit him. <laughs> Damn you, bunnyhood! Anyways, uh, this is this is a cool boss. I love the idea of a legendary Pokemon that wouldn't be good for a playable character being a an enemy. And these are the types of things that I'm hoping will appear in Smash Bros. Ultimate. Like, they're, they've put in a weird amount of emphasis on, like, bad guys and, and enemies and stuff that I'd love to see, like, I don't know. Oh, uh, shit. Wow, that was, that was powerful. A really powerful legendary Pokemon as, as another boss, like they did here. I would love that. And with a uh, Gen 8, I think, about to be announced, like, next year, it'd be cool to see, like, a... Uh, a preview of a, of a Gen 8 powerful Pokemon. Take that, Rayquaza. Uh, we're going to call this an episode at the, after this cinematic, which is one of my favorite cinematics in the, in the game. It's one of the few that I really remember. Fox is like, yeah, see you later, kid. Wait, you got to help me find my freaking friend. He's over there. All right, see you later, kid. <laughs> Stupid monkey. <laughs> he just grabs him again and look, Fox is like, oh, shit. Anyways, I'm Phil the Blanks. We'll see you guys next time for more Let's Play Substance Emissary. Take care, guys. Oh, yeah, are you serious? It's up here. It was up here. Above above the screen. Yeah, because I was going to find that. Ugh. Damn you, Sakurai.